Hey Studio on the Road. We are here at Arlen Studios in Austin, Texas with Lisa Morales right now. Lisa, thank you for doing this. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, you sound great. Alejandro, you sound great. Thank you both for joining us. And uh, Lisa, we're about to hear a lot of your music, including two songs off of She Ought to Be King, which comes out summer 2022-ish. And we're also going to hear a couple of other songs as well. What's coming up first today? We're going to do Freedom. It's going to be my first single. It comes out November 5th. I'm very excited about it. It's about... um, um, how everything got so divided in this country and I, I'm tired of it. I'm just, I think you are too, right? I think everybody is and this is about love and, and be kind to thy neighbor thing, you know? First you gotta show that we really care that the color of skin is equal every Someone hurt someone, you gotta speak up Treat everyone kind, with motherly love Kicking out the hate, no room for it here Go on, take my hand, make it perfectly clear A woman, child, have rights, you don't get to judge A man can love a man, cause God loves us all Freedom for us all Make the world more beautiful So thank Thanks. you, Alejandro. Um, this is so. It's been um, we we've been doing this thing, Pace Studio on the road for uh, for about a year now. We used to have a location in New York City. We do no longer have that location. Wow. We've been traveling around, but it does. I mean, the just traveling and seeing how other people live, I think, makes a huge difference in relating to 
how people are when we cross paths with you in your backyard it just it's it's different you know can you talk a little bit about I mean, travel should be a, a huge part in everybody's life. Can you talk a little bit about how that in particular makes a huge difference in terms of being able to relate to other people and not consider people to be other than yourself? Oh, it, it, it opens your mind so much. Uh, I was really lucky when I was a kid, my mom took us to Germany and threw us in a German school. And so I got to see, uh, you know, eyes in a different country and see how we're, you know, we're not, we're just a speck, you know, and we have to um, know that other people exist and that we have to be open to new ideas and, and just broaden your horizons. And when, when I travel, I, I, I look around and see what, what do we all need to do to help? Like I see so many homeless, you know, and I'm not just seeing it. Here in Texas, I'm seeing it in California. I'm seeing it in Kansas. I'm seeing it in New York. I'm seeing it everywhere. And so, you know, it just it just opens your mind to think that we all need to help each other and be kind and be loving. Yeah, we do need to do that. I mean, it's it sucks when you're kind of closed off and just living in your own bubble. It's very, yes. very easy. I'm not judging anybody who is comfortable in their own little bubble because it's easy to slip into that. But... Yeah, it's hopefully uh, we're all able to recognize that there's so much more going on out there and we're not at the center of anything, man. There's a massive We're not the center of the there. universe. Yeah. We're not. <laughs> That's really perfect. Yeah. Man, well, thank you so much for sharing this music with us. And there is a lot more to be shared with our audience. What do you feel like doing second today? I'm going to do one that's um, it's called Reach Out. And it's it's about kind of what we were talking about and how um, I was basically um, uh, COVID fatigued. And it was right, uh, gosh, in the middle of it. And I thought, you know, uh, everybody's closing themselves off and we've, we're all getting angry. And we're like, wait a minute, what happened? You know, I, I grew up in a, a, a home that was uh, both Republican and Democrat. So we all learned to get along, you know, and, and, and that's what we have to do. We all have to reach out to each other. And so the song's called Reach Out. One, two, three, four. Spread thin, I'm strong out Everything's falling apart And I'm beginning to doubt The thing we thought we knew has it got you too? These days Feels like I've lost the beat Broken down Taking sides and taking it to the streets It's raw emotions now Have we all forgotten how? It's our fear Looking for a place to land If we listen to the noise We forget we have the choice To see the best of what we hold inside Am I reaching you? If we listen to the noise 
We forget we have the choice To see the best of what we hold inside Reach out Try to understand Thank you, man. You guys sound great. Thank you so much for coming here and doing this. Um, can we talk a little more about She Ought to Be King? I know sure. that uh, it was produced by David Garza, which is, I mean, that role of producer is such a wildly different thing from project to project. I wonder what did it look like specifically? What does that relationship look like between you and David? And then the second part of that question is, I know there's a ton of guest artists on this record. What was that like working with all of them as well? It was a fantastic experience. It was during the freeze here in Texas. And so we were stuck where we were. And it was a blessing because I, I went to record five songs and I ended up making a whole album. And David is just this incredible artist. And his ritual is he starts with a bonfire and he keeps that bonfire going throughout the whole time. So it never goes out. He stokes it at you know four o'clock in the morning or six o'clock in the morning, whatever it needs. It's And um, He's just, he totally, I knew I was making art and the experience was beautiful. Um, he had us laughing and crying. I mean, I, I ended up playing this one song. I thought somebody else was gonna play the piano. I wrote it on the piano, but when it came time to record the song, he was sitting at the piano and he patted the seat and said, come on over, you're, you're gonna play this. And I was like, what? <laughs> and so then after that, I, you know, he just sat there and it was just this great guru and, then he had me play uh, the Melaton after that, and just, just he said, just, pl just feel it. And then after that, I did the pseudo drum, the big, huge pseudo drum. And, and you know, that could just go really wild, you know? And it just, it, it was the most emotional experience. And then out at Sonic Ranch, there's this, um, you break bread with everybody who's recording there. You guys sleep there. It's I mean, it's a destination place, right? Oh, is yes, and it's just it's you 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 know nobody's going to run off and go to a store or something in the middle of the project. You're just all focused on the art, and everybody that who is working there is focused on the art for you as well. And so, but at the end of the the day, you go and break bread with everybody else who's recording there. And um, I happened to be there. Greg Raleigh was there from Santana and Journey. He was there, and so he came and sang on my album and uh, played B3 on some. And then uh, while I was recording out there, uh, I thought, well, I'm gonna text Rodney Crowell and say, hey, will you sing one, sing background <laughs> on this? And and so he said, well, send me the track. So I sent it to him, and he said, called me the next day, and he said. I've listened to this song a couple of times. He goes, no, I lied. I've listened to it five or six times, and I think we should do a duet. And I was like, a duet with Rodney Crowell? Are you sure. kidding me? Yeah, He's that like, sounds like a good idea. Oh, my God. I was just like, <laughs> I I hung up, and I jumped up and down, you know. So I was like total geeked out. And um, Anyway, so it was great. It was David is an incredible producer. I had a beautiful experience. And, oh, Tim LaFave played bass on the project, and... Uh, Oh, uh, Rachel Eckroth played keys and Beth Goodfellow on drums. I mean, it was just a great cast of characters. So. Cool. Well, I'm glad that you got to have that experience. I would love to meet Mr. Garza at some point. That sounds like an absolutely ideal uh, experience. You'd love him. For You'd anybody. love him. He, yeah. he produced Fiona Apple's last one that won a Grammy. He's just amazing. Yeah. Good, man. Well, I'm glad that that happened for you. I'm glad this is happening for us right now, and we're only halfway through. There's still two more songs to be shared with our audience. What do you feel like doing third today? Um, I'm going to do a song called 20 Minutos, 20 Minutes. And uh, this is off of my Luna Negra and the Daughter of the Sun album. One, two,
por 20 años, perdóname María I can't tell you, debo decirte goodbye I can't tell you, debo decirte goodbye. Lisa, thank you, Alejandro. You guys sound great together. Thanks. And uh, Lisa, I know that you came up in Tucson and you're Texas-based now. Um, I don't know how long ago that happened, but do you identify more so as a Texas artist, as an Arizona artist, or do you kind of pick and choose from those two different communities just based on who you gravitate to the best? Well, Texas allowed me to develop my sound. So I'm very grateful, and I've been here longer than I was in Tucson. But uh, Tucson is home still, because all my family's there. I have, you know, I have like 24 cousins, and on one side, well, actually, there's more than that. But um, you know, I have a big family. We were fe- uh, sixth generation Tucsonans, so it's the roots are deep there. And uh, but but I'm, I'm a Texan, yeah. Who are some of those Texas artists that you really gravitate towards that either you've been able to support in your career who, or who have been able to support you? Well, um, Rodney Crowell. I mean, when I first heard his yeah. first album, I was like, oh, that's it. That's, you know, I just, I want to be like him. So that was kind of cool. And, um, oh gosh, well, uh, my that brothers. List, if, if that list contains Rodney Crowell, it doesn't need to contain two people. That's fine. <laughs> that's, that's a good enough list. <laughs> well, then I've been on the road with Los Lonely Boys for a few years and they're We've my got brothers. got a strong connection to this room in this studio. Right. Yeah. They're just, they're. They're these amazing, amazing talents, and uh, there's, I mean, the list in Texas goes on and on. I mean, I, I was talking with somebody about how I uh, ran into um, Albert Collins at the airport one time years ago. Yeah, I know, right? Wow. I, and, and he had this big, huge um, bodyguard with him, and I just looked at my sister, and I said, I don't care. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go say hello to him, and I did. <laughs> I, yeah, so, I mean, there's a, there's a long list of, 
uh, Texans that I'm, you know, just in awe of. Yeah, me too, man. There are there are definitely a long list, and we get to interact with a couple of them, man. I mean, you're doing this right now. Jimmy Vaughn's doing this tomorrow. Like, this has been a dream week for us, and I just, I don't know. This is so much fun. I can't believe this is happening, but it is, and we're in the middle of it, and uh, we're in the middle of your session right now, and I love uh, everything you've done so far, and there's Thank still you. one more song to be shared with our audience. What do you feel like doing last today? I'm going to do a, a song called Mal Hombre, but I just wanted to let you know I'm touring with um, Los Lobos in January, and I'm going to be out with Rodney Crowell in December in California, so if anybody's... Out, you know, check check out my website. Please tell Rodney that the Paste Guys said hi, and please tell Steve Berlin that the Paste Guys want to meet him. We've been almost, oh. like, almost crossing paths so many times. I'm going to text him right when we're done. Yeah, please do. <laughs> okay. Thank you for having me. And this is Alejandro Rios. All right. <laughs> Muéstrame the truth It takes a little effort Guilt removed I've seen that wash your face At least a dozen times I've seen respect for you Leave tonight Porque será que tu sombra desaparece Como te atreves a decirme te quiero Eres mal hombre sin conciencia Mírame What have you done Creéndote tanto You parted with the sun the only love you have is your reflection But a fly dives to his death in that direction ¿Por qué será que tu sombra desaparece? You have no shadow when you lose yourself ¿Cómo te atreves a decirme te quiero? Eres mal hombre sin conciencia
Thanks for having us. Yes, indeed. Great job, both of you. Thank you so much for coming by, and best of luck on She Ought to Be King. It's out roughly summer 2022. Thank you for the preview of that music. Thank you. And uh, travel safely with Los Lonely Boys. Wait, say it again. No, no, no. Los Lobos. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's yep. okay. Uh, Los Lobos and um, all of the other tour dates. Please travel safely, and we'll see you again whenever we see you next.